As you can see, I'm still rendering my last video I just recorded. This is going to be, for some of you, the second lecture. For others of you, you might just be watching this to see how to set up Optana. Now, I do prefer Dreamweaver, but I understand that not everybody can afford it. If you're taking my class live with me, we'll be using Dreamweaver when we're at school. But Dreamweaver is an expensive program, especially with the cloud-based subscription. Not every student can afford to use it. So I like to have a second best choice. And my second best choice is Optana, which is a great program. I have a few, I really only have one minor issue with it. In the current version of Optana that I'm using now, I can't get the FTP to work correctly, and all of my students have had problems with it. So we're not even going to bother setting up the FTP portion of Optana. It's a great code editor, and I want to show you how I want you to set up Optana for this class. You can see that I'm using this a lot, and I've done web scripting, which is the old name for this class. I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to do a file new web project. And we're going to use our default project without a template, because I want to hand code everything. And the project name is going to be web 115 and here I'm going to go ahead and use the default location actually no I hate doing that I'm going to uncheck use default location because where I really want it to be is just in my documents folder and we're going to call it I think it actually already exists in here web 115 this way I'm hitting the same one whether I'm in Dreamweaver or Optana. And oh, it doesn't want to do it because it's not empty. So we'll just call it 115.2. 115B. It actually should work with an existing one, but that's fine. We'll start clean. You should name yours 115. I've already done this in Dreamweaver, so it already exists. So this gives me a nice empty folder. Now, before you start, you're going to have 14 different projects or weeks in a final project. And the way I'd like you to organize your file setup is to right click and choose new folder. And we're going to keep the folder names really simple here. It's going to just be 01 through 14 because that'll make them line up in order. So you're going to right click new folder 02. And I want you to go all the way through 14, and I think it would be boring for you to watch me do that. And then your last folder will be called Final Project. And you can do it one of two ways. No spaces, no, um, no capitalization. But what you may do, if you want to separate the words, is use an underscore. Very common and works just fine. Now the next thing you need to know is that in each of these folders you should have a primary page named index. We're also going to have an index page and I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to name it index.html and that page is going to link to all the other pages so that I can easily find your project and we're going to go into updating this later but here, this is not a WYSIWYG program. It's not what you see is what you get. It's all about hand coding. And so in the next video, we're going to create this page. And I'm going to show you how to create your index page and the first project in the next video using Optana. I'm going to do a few of them where I do videos in Optana and Dreamweaver. Once we get past putting pictures in and uploading everything, I'm going to be really agnostic. I'm not going to choose a flavor here. I'm going to just show you the code in Firefox. So this is your basic setup in Optana, and I'll do a few more videos showing you how to get started using it.